is Duncan McKenzie, and I'm the manager of scientific support here at BenchSci. Hi, my name is Claudia. I'm a, scient a senior scientific support specialist at BenchSci. My name is Shannon, and I'm a scientific support specialist at BenchSci on the customer success team. My area of research during my PhD was in physical biochemistry. Um, so we sort of looked at the how and the why proteins move and behave the way that they do. My research focus was on protein aggregation um, and other kind of cellular mechanisms that contributed to neurodegeneration. My area of research for my PhD was in sleep neuroscience. And I studied how long-term lack of sleep impacts the function of different cell types in the brain. The solutions that BenchSide provided scientists um, really resonated me. So something that I was like, I wish I had this during my studies would have been really helpful. I spent over a decade in academia and the things I was really wanting to see in my next position once I left academic science was, you know, working closely in a team, building relationships, working creatively and being innovative um, while maintaining a strong connection to like benchwork science. I was ready at the end of my time in grad school to sort of explore how I can use my science to, or my experience in science to sort of influence the world and the world of research. I spent a lot of time working in it and feel felt like I had a fairly unique view um, of where some things could be made easier for science or where some struggles are for scientists. Um, so sort of those discoveries personal discoveries aligned really closely with what BenchSci's mission was. As a scientific sports specialist, I'm answering scientific like questions from scientists all the time. But I will say like a big thing we help with is scientists that study, you know, like a, a rare target or looking for a very specific type of reagent, digging into our database on our application and, and pulling out that relevant data that is it, you know, usually really hard to find using other types of sort, you know, reagent sources. And often we're able to help those users, even when they study something super, super rare, um, pull out that data since we have just so much on bench side. The most common type of question we get is a little more in the weeds um, for scientists. And they are often like, hey, I'm looking, I need help researching this rare target. Can you help me use the platform to do that? Um, as far as a category question goes, that one comes up a lot because um, everyone's uh, research project is a little bit unique um, and they just wouldn't mind a, a hand getting to the bottom of it. Our team is a scientific support team. So there are a lot of ways that our team actually supports users. So the ways that most people probably think about it is uh, is answering users in the in-app chat or through uh, emails and responding to users. But we also uh, proactively create a ton of content for our knowledge center. Um, basically addresses all kinds of questions that our scientists would probably um, be asking. So maybe if we're releasing a new feature, how does it work? How does how does what additional data um, is being added to the platform? That kind of stuff. But a big one that I would pick is that we only provide scientific support for our users because we also perform a lot of internal science enablement. So the scientific support team, we're all PhD scientists. We have really strong backgrounds that are in a diverse like set of expertise. And we are also, our job is to be specialists in the science of our platform. So within the customer success team, we're a mixture of scientists and not scientists. We help support, you know, um, uh, you know, scientific knowledge on our team, you know, explaining the complexities of our application in ways that are easy to understand and, and really helping non-scientists on our team and teams that we work with understand the scientist perspective.